Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to review a Frosty product. This is the root beer. Um, this is a revisit. I reviewed this um, in 2017. It was my second year of, of reviewing, and it's when I started reviewing things that said beer in the, in the title, whether it be actually beer or not. It just said beer. So I started doing root beers. Um, that was before I had Jeremy start reviewing with me um, the uh, <clears throat> the root beers and the soda pops and stuff. Um, so I um, can't tell in the picture if it was like this, if the bottle was like this. I probably got it from um, like Cracker Barrel or something like that. Um, so this is natural and artificial flavored. <clears throat> Carbonated water, pure cane sugar, um, natural and artificial flavors. So there you go. Let's try this. Oh, it's a twist off. Here is the cap. Mmm. <laughs> Smells really good. Has a nice root beer aroma. <clears throat> nice carbonation. Dark caramel appearance. Has a very little head still there. It's kind of a, a mocha kind of head. It's going away pretty quickly. That's good. Yeah, it has a nice root beer aroma. It has some, like a little vanilla in there. Sweetness on the aroma is about, about a medium to high. It smells really good. All right, let's try it. Wow, that's good. <clears throat> light, light carbonation. Has a nice root beer flavor. You get the vanilla. Kind of a, a creamy, kind of a creamy mouthfeel to it. Um, um, just almost like there was like Cool Whip or something in there, you know. Um, the cane sugar, the pure cane sugar, had a lot to do with it. Um, natural and artificial flavors, there's no telling in that category what all is in there. I'm sure there's some vanilla extract in there. Um, I don't know what else. It's a nice, smooth, sweet, creamy kind of tasting root beer. It's a nice quality root beer. It really is. Very enjoyable. Um, I got this at at a place here in Tulsa called M&M &M Lumber. It's a lumber company, but they have tools, supplies. It's called M&M &M Lum Lumber. Um, <clears throat> walked in one day <coughs> with the guy I work with and uh, saw it out of the corner of my eye, refrigerator um, with all these different craft, antique looking, you know, uh, classic soda pops. Um, this one here was dollar eighty nine. All of them actually were a dollar eighty nine. Um, <coughs> so.
so I got a bunch of them to review with Jeremy. He, he's he's pretty busy, so it's hard to get him to review stuff with me these days. Um, but I asked him which about a couple of them, which he wasn't, which two are you not interested in that much reviewing? <coughs> Excuse me, this was one of them, so I thought I'd review this one today. Yeah, very good. Okay. It has a nice aftertaste that lasts a little bit, you know, it doesn't fade off real quickly. It kind of lingers. Um... A cool classic looking um, label I think I need I had a request to do the blue the blue cream or something like that um, I can't find them in singles um, so I've been hoping that I would but I didn't see the singles of this there um, figures but uh, so there you go let me know if Frosty's root beer is like one of your favorites there's there's, there's a lot of root beers out there um, and they just kind of the categories of, of, of the quality you know rating just kind of bounces back and forth because they all are good just some are a little bit better than others. Some have more of an artificial kind of sugary kind of taste. Some have um, a natural cane sugar kind of taste like this. But there you go. All right. I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye.